The Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Hallelujah. This is an article from Newsmax. Holy evidence. Scientist converts after studying the Shroud of Turin. Dr. Robert Harrington, a renowned skeptic and scientist, recently shocked his colleagues and peers when he announced his conversion to Christianity after a groundbreaking investigation into the Shroud of Turin. His profound change of heart stemmed from compelling new evidence suggesting that the shroud is indeed the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Dr. Harrington embarked on his study of the shroud intending to debunk its authenticity. However, as he delved deeper into the analysis, employing cutting-edge technology and methodologies, he encountered findings that challenged his scientific and personal beliefs. I approached this study with a critical mind ready to expose what I believe what was a long-standing historical fabrication, Dr. Harrington explained. But the evidence we uncovered was so compelling that it left no room for doubt. This is the burial shroud of Jesus of Nazareth. There is a special report on this shroud of Turin on Newsmax.com. And that's where I got this. Jesus of Nazareth to this day no other figure in human history has ever gripped the imagination quite like the carpenter and rabbi. The man his followers have said for over 2,000 years is the Son of God. Though his time on earth was brief, he singularly divides history and continues to divide the world into believers and non-believers. Crucial to this belief in him is that he not only lived and died, but actually rose from the dead in a supernatural resurrection. That's likely why new scientific evidence discovered on the Shroud of Turin has stunned the world. In a special report from Newsmax magazine, our investigation finds that the Shroud is not only authentic, but is the burial cloth of a Jewish male who died exactly as the Bible says. New evidence from modern archaeology findings shows that the man depicted on the Shroud died just as the Romans of Jesus' time conducted crucifixions. The latest scientific findings using devices that scan deep space and probe the smallest nanoparticles of the cell have backed up claims many Christians have long held about the cloth. Scientists are certain the shroud is that of a crucified man. The image on the shroud has never been replicated before and is not art. Why carbon-14 dating that sets the shroud in the 13th century was faulty. New X-ray dating methods put the shroud's origin to the time of Jesus. The energy it took to produce the image would be equal to all the electrical power generated in the world today. Blood evidence, dozens of indicators that show the man who was buried died just as the Bible claims. Secret message was the hidden three mark on Jesus' forehead, his message for the end times. Traditional burial, Jewish burial, Multiple points of evidence the man was a religious Jew. The Jewish photography expert who concluded the shroud is 100% real. The Jewish botanist who pinpointed the pollens on the shroud linking it to Jerusalem. The missing link. New science proves the sudarium, a burial face cloth, was used on the same body as the shroud. A famous illustrator uses the shroud to make a portrait of what Jesus really looked like. French historian Jean Christian Petit Fils studied the shroud and concluded its authenticity can no longer be disputed. Newsmax probes the fascinating and exhaustively researched details about the shroud and offers the most compelling answers yet that will leave the devout and non-believers alike shaken to their core. You, don't, you won't want to miss this special issue of Newsmax magazine, one of the world's fastest growing publications straight from the heart of America. When you activate your subscription today, we would like to send you a free copy of this special edition of Newsmax magazine. Just click the link below for more details. That will be, I'll put a link in the description box for Newsmax, but I will uh, also share with you So you can get this at uh, 
You can get information there on that article from Newsmax.com. And that is the ad. The special starts at $9.95 for a six-month subscription. You can find the, uh, information about the Shroud and the several different links at this website, pray at 316com on the front. There is a green link that says proof that Jesus rose from the dead. If you click that link and scroll down there, you will see many links relating to the Shroud of Turin. And also in this website, he died for you.com. You scroll down there, you will see links under the heading Jesus Rose from the Dead. There is a, also a website, shroud.com. And there's a YouTube. The title of the YouTube, there's actually a number of YouTubes, but there's a title of the YouTube. Barry Schwartz exposes jaw dropping new evidence about the Shroud of Turin. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead, and we celebrate, and we believe. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. In Acts 4.33 said, And the apostles gave witness of the re resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. With great boldness gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. That is, they gave witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus when they were having to suffer and go to prison and be beaten for it and they insisted on making it known boldly and publicly and openly and in spite of threats they continued. Why did they do that? After they'd been discouraged in seeing Christ crucified, they knew he rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and he is coming soon. That is the rapture of the church and there will be a great deception upon this world related very possibly to those who claiming to be aliens or claiming aliens abducted the believers. There will be a resurrection. And all of that is the demonic realm it will be a deception of the whole world. And I would urge you this day, believe in the truth. Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through Jesus. And there is no other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. And I would urge you all, turn to Jesus with all your heart. And turn from idolatry, that is the worship of anything except God. We worship God in spirit and in truth. Even if they come up with a picture of say, what this is what Jesus looked like, we don't worship that picture. We worship Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Even Jesus said, it is the spirit that quickeneth. It is the spirit. God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. But we celebrate this. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead, and he is coming again soon. That is specifically to snatch the bride to the place he has prepared. He made this promise in John 14. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And that day is coming very, very soon. So rejoice and celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. He is risen. He is risen. Come on and celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen and he's coming soon.